Hi everyone, I'm going to do a talking to the text on this article uh, called Barbara C. Jordan and I'd like you to notice um, what reading strategies I use to make sense of the text and you'll know that maybe I read the text differently than you would read the text and that's okay too. Right now we're just sharing the kinds of strategies we use to read and make sense of material and um, we can borrow ideas from one another. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the idea of previewing. That is what I do with everything I read. I look at it. Um, I can tell it's about Barbara Jordan. That's a title and this must be her right here, looking very professional and happy. Um, just, uh, I'm reminded immediately that um, many, many years ago I taught another article with Barbara Jordan in it. So I wonder if this article, I predict it's going to talk about the idea that she was a senator, but I'm not sure. I'll have to see when I look more, but I predict it'll kind of talk about that part of her um, professional background. And maybe it'll add some more information that I was didn't know. Like, I'm not sure where she was a senator from. Okay, uh, it's from history.com. It looks like it has section headings, which is interesting because that'll help me. Her years in Congress, when she retired, and the first two headings are, you know, her earlier years. Um, oops. Okay. So, um, now I'll get started and read the introduction here. Um so, Texas Congresswoman Jordan, and then it's followed by the set of dates, which I know and uh, maybe you know also, but this is of her birth and death date. So, I'll just stick that in there. Um, she was on the national stage at Houston's large, largely African-American Fifth Ward. So, I, I think a ward is a certain sector of people, um, maybe from a certain location in Houston. I'm, I don't really know the definition of ward, but I think that's what it is. I might need to look that up later, but it says she became a public defender of the U.S. Constitution, of course, which is the body of uh, guidelines and rules and laws and philosophies and values of the United States um, of America. And she, it says she was um, a leading presence in the Democratic Party for two decades. So that's quite a long time. Um, and to be a leader also, she was the first black woman elected to the Texas State Senate and first black Texan in Congress. So I think this should really be acknowledged, this idea that she's the first black woman. She is pioneering a road, a long, hard road um, for other black Americans to follow. So she must be, and I'm just thinking about how strong she is and how probably took some courage um, to do this kind of work. And she must also be like incredibly smart, like having like this opportunity, but the, I'm just imagining Barbara Jordan out there, you know, the first one. How amazing is that? Um, it says she was the House Judiciary Committee. I That's the House Judiciary Committee. I'm going to kind of circle that out here. House Judiciary Committee. I know that's a standing committee that oversees all things that are related to the Constitution, like any amendments that need to be passed, I believe. And I think it started, I would say, maybe in the early 1800s. But again, I, I'm not totally sure, but I think so. Um, and then lastly, she gave a speech of Richard Nixon's impeachment hearing. So that's interesting, too. Um, the whole Watergate scandal. That's what this means to me, the Watergate. So I'm just going to add that little note in here. Um, and then it says she retired. And then she still did work after she retired. She became a political advocate. 
policy advocate, meaning someone who works for someone else. So now as I move forward, I'll expect to understand, okay, I'll look at each heading and then know what it's going to be telling me about. And I'm going to stop here now. Okay, let me stop.